Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to install Cacti Server on Ubuntu 19.10. Cacti is an open source network monitoring tool. It helps to monitor our servers, LAN devices, network devices, and all other servers on the network. So let's see how can we install Cacti Server on Ubuntu 19.10. So these are the steps. Uh, on this site, I will show you the link of the site. So let's start by upgrading our system. Switch to root. So we start with the update. Uh, then the first step we will have to do is after we have to install Apache, MS, MySQL, and PHP. So we'll copy this command and paste it here. Enter. It won't be stuck. It won't take much of a time. Depends upon your bandwidth, but should not take much of a time. Next step, we have to edit this config file and do this changes relation server. It's almost 61 percent. Yeah, almost there. Okay, it's done. Um, edit this config file. this control w and paste enter okay so we have to change make the changes over here so this other change have to copy this and we will delete this over here and paste it here that's it control oh, control x yes enter so next step is to set the time zone okay so there are two INI files we have to change. One is for Apache 2 and one is for PHP 7.3. So, first I will copy this. Press enter. And now, to make sure I have to change this, I will set this in the text. Control U, enter over here. I will put Asia slash com. Next step to do is change this memory unit to power to end. And make sure you remove this code from here. This memory you to change. You make this fire one two. And next to execution time. And 30 will make it 60. That's it. We have to close this file. Control X, Y, Enter. Y is for yes. And same changes we have to make it uh, in this file. So copy this file, file, command, and repeat the step again. We search this. Control W, paste. So we have to remove this. Slash slash Next is memory limit. Enter.
do it. So remove this. Execution make this sixteen. So we just now if we start MariaDB services, so we copy this and paste it here, enter. Services is started. Now we'll go into this MySQL to create database so to create a database we will copy this command enter database is created now we will create user copy this and grant the permission on cat database search the two ladies Exit. So another window. We will should have access to the MySQL time zone. Okay, now we give access to the time zone. So copy. Enter. Enter. Done. Uh, we have to again into the MySQL. User we need to create the previously slash privileges exit. Now we are going to install cat Enter. Yes. It's very easy and simple to install. You have to just follow the steps. Okay, so here we will select Apache 2. So I think it will be very easy and simple to install this. We have to just copy and paste those steps. You can also, you can also install this on Ubuntu 19 also 19 for 21 form, the latest version. Next step what we have to do. Next step we have, we have to configure SNMP. SNMP is a very Important services because the, the, without this NMP, we will be Kaki cannot communicate with the other devices, so we, you will have to enable SNMP on other devices like your Windows Server, or your other Ubuntu, your all Linux server. You have to enable SNMP services on all the servers and your network devices as well, firewalls and managed switches. You will have to enable SNMP services. Okay, so over here it's asking me to double check activity deconfig so I will select no and press enter. Okay, yeah, get the information is done now. We will have we will be going to make some changes in SNMP. Public over here, copy service over here, and uncomment this and comment out. So, and this as well. Good. Yes, enter. This is done. This is what we done. We will restart now. We will be going to restart the service. And uh, the service has started. Now, configure the active server. You need to edit the active config file to server file and database type database name. Cool. So now we have to 
change, make some changes in this config file. Enter. We will scroll down here. So, if you see, we have created a script, um, a SQL database over here, and we will create this user and password for this was password. So, copy this and enter password in the password and user in user rest will be the same that's the only changes you have to do control x yes enter this is done okay these changes have been done same password as we have done in MySQL. So this is done. Now edit the Apache configuration file to perform the put in mode installation. Okay so cacti.conf file we have to edit and uh, I need to copy this entire section and until directory and paste it here and save it and exit that's it now we have to restart apache pool pool let's see effective enabling okay good so cacti and apache are enabled now now you have to give some permissions to the directories and copy these commands one by one and give permissions to the directories this is done this is done that's it now we have to find out the IP So this is the IP. Look at this IP and slash cat Enter. Cool. <coughs> so as it says, username and password default username password admin admin. And now we with admin admin now. So you have to change password admin new password. Cool, the password is saved. So that's how it's it's so easy, you know. Except follow the steps, it will be really easy for the installation. These are the installation done. Next installation like install it won't take much of a time if you follow this all the steps properly you will install this, you can install this cactus without any errors. Very simple and easy to install. So these are done and I will start. So this is our dashboard. So we will straight away jump into the devices. And what we will do is just to show you, I will, I will add this device, this cacti server itself. Cacti server host name is local host. Rest you can leave it default and click create.
so it says will not open SNMP connection unknown host okay so here's the spelling mistake which is the host and I'll save now there should not be any error cool so SNMP is able to communicate with the server from here I will go to go to devices again and I'll select this and I'll select place it in the default tree and go continue so now I'll go to the graph and you can see the server over here so once the data is ready you can see all your data uh, all the graph data graph in the graph format over here so this is the easiest way to install Cacti server on Ubuntu uh, I hope you have liked this video and do let me know in the comments if you have installed and tried it by yourself thank you very much